There are a few key questions we ask ourselves when the plan is to visit and photograph the Dettifoss waterfall. Are we aiming for the typical shot of the waterfall or a more artistic, abstract, closer look? What lenses do we use? Do we go to the east or the west bank? Is the spray going to the east or the west? And finally, is the road open? It's easy to run around like a headless chicken when photographing some of the biggest waterfalls of Iceland. What lenses do you use? What filters do you use? Or do you use them at all? In this video, we start by going to Dettifoss waterfall and we also go to Selfoss waterfall and try to do our best there. Dettifoss is believed to be one of the most powerful waterfalls in Europe. It's in the river Jökulsáafjöllum, which is one of the largest glacial rivers in Iceland. Out of the three big ones in Iceland, the big waterfalls, Dettifoss is the biggest. Alone, it is worth visiting if you're in Iceland and uh, standing close to it gives the feeling of power and uh, it's a very special experience. The Dettifoss waterfall is one of the most powerful waterfalls in Europe. It's coming from Jökulsá of Jötlum river, which could be translated as a glacial river from the mountains. And all this energy is flowing here right behind us. The waterfall is 44 meters at its highest point and around 100 meters wide. It's very loud, but I hope you can hear us. The microphones are picking this up, but... Uh, you mean I can't hear you? <laughs> yeah, it's difficult to hear even her, and she can't hear me. Well, we got a very nice microphone, so I hope it's okay. Well. We, we put our trust in them. <laughs> it's safe to say that together the waterfalls, Tetifoss and Godafoss, are the main draws of uh, North Iceland. The trinity of waterfalls, Tetifoss, Gullfoss and Godafoss, are the largest in Iceland. You can photograph it from the west or the east bank. You get a better direct view of the waterfall and its incredible size from the west. You can walk up to the edge, right to the by the waterfall, to the east, but the view is a little bit more restricted. When you are in this side of the waterfall, west side, you can see much more into the waterfall. So yeah. on the east side, you see more like along it. It's a great view also, but from here you can see the whole size of the waterfall. It's 100 meters wide and it's 44 meters high. The question of which bank provides the more beautiful view is a matter of personal taste, but sometimes a matter of getting wet or not. The spray from this huge waterfall is sometimes like taking a shower if you're standing close to it. The wind is on the right side now for yeah. us. To, I've never been here and it's so warm and no, no water on my lenses. Oh. That's one thing I would like to mention for you photographers who are coming here that usually you have to take into consideration where the wind comes from. Today we have the wind going this way which means that we're not getting much spray. Spray can be a big problem here and always bring lens cloths and even some rainy clothes. You can use a telephoto lens to get an interesting shot of Tetifoss if you walk up the hill a little opposite the waterfall. And this is also a good opportunity to visit the other waterfalls, Havragilsfoss, a little way downriver, and Selfoss, a little way upriver. 
We have made a video about photography at uh, the Selfos waterfall. If you ask me whether you should go to the east or the west bank, the answer would depend on a few factors. Normally I would go to the Selfos waterfall from the east bank, since uh, then you would have a wider view of the small and beautiful waterfalls. But just keep in mind that the road on the east side is a gravel road. Most of the time it's in a bad condition, but still okay for most cars, but only in the summertime. Dettifors, on the other hand, is uh, beautiful from both banks, but if the aim is only to see the Dettifors waterfall, the west bank gives you a wider view of the waterfall and uh, gives you also probably more options in composition. The first question as a photographer would be, should I be on the west bank or east bank? So it's actually just a matter of a personal taste because uh, I would say it depends on the light. Now it's even late evening, the sun is over there and uh, it's cloudy too, so... Yeah, now it's sometime. cloudy at the moment, which is better. But uh, the road on the east side is uh, something between terrible and horrible. But the road on the west side, where we came, is paved. The road is new, but strangely it's not open all year. There's no road service in the middle of the winter. You might be able to go if you have a modified jeep but you're on your own and make a note that uh, i talk about modified jeep not if you have a four-wheel drive car that's not a jeep you need a real modified jeep for uh, driving in snow <gasps> Thank you for watching and if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe.